my friend Randa um, from Stampin' Up showed me how she made these adorable shadow box frames just out of a piece of 12 by 12 cardstock paper. Um, so I thought I would show you how she did it. So I have a scoring board, so it's got a bunch of grooves on it and this, this uh, I don't know, scorer. Um, you can do this just with a scorer and a ruler if you don't have a scoring board. So to make this one, we're gonna come in every half an inch, make a score line, and you want four, four lines, a half an inch piece. So at a half an inch, at one inch, one and a half, and two. See, having this scoreboard makes it easy. It's got a groove that you can just follow along. So I did that on all four sides, if you can see that. So there's four lines on four sides. Then on two of the sides, I'm going to make a line another half an inch in, so it'll be two and a half, and I'm going to come down just two of the blocks, so it would be one inch. And then I'm going to do that on this side, two inches, and then turn it over and do it on the other side. So they're just across from each other. It's not on all four sides. So where am I at? I can't do this. Half an inch. Sorry. Okay, so I have two lines here. And I can tell I put this line in the wrong spot. That's supposed to go one inch or a half an inch. So it's like that. Okay, so now I'm going to cut out the corners on each, all four corners. So not that little line that I just made, but the big line. So there are four squares each way, which would be two inches total. So you got a two inch um, corner out on all four sides. Okay, after I get all four of these cut out. I'm going to show you what to do with that little line. Okay, so you cut on the little line and then angle it and veer off. Can you see what I did? So it looks like that. Okay, so cut the line and then angle it and cut it off. Okay, and then we're going to do that to this side. Angle it. And angle it. Okay. Now we are done with this scoring board. And now you're just going to, on every single one of those score lines, fold them up, crease them. So those are going to roll in to make the edges of the frame. All right. Okay, so the idea is that we're going to now roll on the score lines. See, so it'll roll up. That is one side of the frame. I'm going to do that all of these just to make sure that it's going to fold up right before I glue it down. So there's two sides. Now when you do this the little angled side, it ends up folding up nicely to make a nice clean corner. Can you see that? And it almost kind of locks it in place a little bit. So then after I make sure that it's all going to be folded in the right spot, okay, so they're all going to match up, then I'm going to turn this over and I'm going to put adhesive on the outside of all four sides. This one will be the one that gets stuck down on the inside. Put that to get my tape up. 
Okay, so I'm going to use my snail adhesive on all four bottom. Oops, I got that one a little crazy. We'll see what happens with that. Okay, so now I've pulled it back up. Stick it down. And this is the one I went a little bit crazy, but it's with the glue, but it's not gonna matter. Now our little short sides wrap right around to make a nice clean edge. There you go. So this is a half an inch fold. So you have a more shallow shadow box. This one we did, it's three quarter inch. So when you score the four lines, you score them in three quarters versus a half. So that makes a thicker frame here and here. You can also do it with um, scoring, let's see, it was half an inch, three quarters of an inch, so one inch. And if you do one inch all the way around and your frame is only gonna be about that big in the center. Now you can decorate, do whatever you want.